tell us about your show, Ballers. Yeah, uh, Ballers is a show about football players and the lifestyles when the season's over a little bit. And uh, we just got picked up for season two. We just, Yo, congrats. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We just finished season one. It was uh, number one highest rated comedy in the last 12 years. So oh, wow. excited about that. Yo, yeah. Dude, congrats. Yeah, thank you, thank so you. So now what's it like working with The Rock? It's amazing, man. It's a blessing. He's a really cool, humble guy, and I'm uh, just somebody to look out, look out, you look after for my career, look up to, and you know, and he leads by example. So now, if you can guest star at any uh, show that's currently airing, what would you pick? Man, any, any, all of them, anyone <laughs> that want that want me to be in there, you I would, I would, him love, up, I would love to. Yeah, hire me. <laughs> Do your best, like headshot smile. Like. Yeah, all that, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> awesome. You know, like, cause we have the Oscars, we have the Tonys, we have the and we have the Emmys. Right. If you could make your own award show, what would you pick? Hmm. I mean, like, what do you, what do you mean? Like, or what would you make, like, for an award show? I would just make an award show just for, that everybody gets to win. Like, there's no <laughs> there's no loser. Everybody getting an award. Call it participation trophy. Exactly. You know? Call it call it. We all winning awards. <laughs> Get DJ Khaled to rap. Like, Man, we the all, best. All, another one. Another one. <laughs> so excited to have a little dance you know like a oh, lot yeah. of these I'm from Georgia right but I go to all these LA events and everyone kind of gets a little stuffy sometimes yeah. you gotta like break the move by like breaking it down with a little ATL so, so you're gonna be the first one on the dance floor I take it yeah for sure maybe the I'm only excited one. to see this <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you okay deal like as a fashion blogger I'm always like you gotta dress for your mood you can't dress for oh, what yeah. people tell you to dress with you gotta go like that's what teens want to know yeah. you gotta do you <laughs> so you can show up to this in pajamas then I, could I I mean that's my mood that's my mood then you should do it I Thank don't you. think it'll be you might end up on women or men of Walmart <laughs> <laughs> like hey dad I'm famous <laughs> Yay, I made it <laughs> all right so you know um you know with it being Emmy season are there any shows in particular that you're rooting for I mean everyone is house of cards now if you could guest star on any TV show currently airing what would it be <laughs> Can I say House of Cards again? Would that you be can. so ghetto? That's... I would just want to meet Kevin Spacey. I know. I just beautiful. want to sit there and be like this. Hi, I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> I realized that was a little creepy, but I would totally do that. A little bit. What does that mean? What does that say about me? I think that just means you like Kevin Spacey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'll go with that. <laughs> um, so, you know, we have the Oscars, we have the Tonys, and we have the Emmys. If you could make your own award show, what would it be? It'd probably be the Rachels. The Rachels? <laughs> no, I'm joking. In all seriousness, I would do an, an influencer showroom, like a big influencer awards show, because Ooh. I have a big community of influencers and bloggers with the McCord list, and we do parties and fun blogger initiatives together, and so I would honor them for their fabulous content creation, like you. Oh, You're thank a content you. creator, so I would honor you guys. You know how to flatter people. So tell us about the Nicole Arbor deal. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Okay, so basically this girl who no one had heard of before, I mean, maybe like some people. Anyway, she made this video dogging on people, telling them that they were fat and they were gross and this family disgusted her and their fat touched her. I mean, it was like, it was painful to watch. And I don't usually speak, I'm all about positivity, so I actually don't usually go up against the bully. But in this case, my friend had shared it with me on Facebook and she was someone who struggled with her insecurities around weight and just challenges in that case. And so I was like, you know what? I just need to speak out. So I basically roasted her. <laughs> and I was like, actually, you have pink vomit on one side of your... Of course, a lot of her fans were hating on me. But I was fine with it because you know what? It was like in the movies when someone punches the bully in the face. <laughs> that kind of happened on YouTube. Do you have any shows, you know, this Emmy season that you're supporting? Well, I want Jonathan Banks to win for Best, uh, best Supporting for uh, Better Call Saul. Mm. Love Better Call Saul. Great show. That's, that's, you know, and then Game of Thrones. Yeah. So were you a Breaking Bad fan when it aired? No, not when it aired. I oh. binged, I binged and got it all done in four days. Netflix? Seven in four right. days. Netflix is my friend. That's mine too. <laughs> was never so satisfied at the end of any series as so I was good. at Breaking Bad. He dies. <laughs> Spoiler alert. If you alert. haven't seen it, bad on you, because you've had a long time. If you could guest star on any show that's currently airing, what would you pick? Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, Dating Naked. Just joking. <laughs> I've seen it. Have you? I haven't, I haven't watched it yet, but it seems, it seems interesting. Did you like that one, Willie? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. up. Yeah. Teens want to know the stamp of approval. You know, another one I like is uh, uh, Naked Survival. What's that one? Uh, on I see a recurring Sunday. theme here. <laughs> a, a recurring theme here. You know, we have the Tonys, we have the Oscars, and we have the Emmys. Yeah. If you could create your own award show, what would it be? Um, I guess the Tess Broussard Fashion Emmys. <laughs> Test Broussard Fashion Emmys. Comedy Emmys. Emmys. Comedy. Yeah, Why not comedy both? Comedy fashion. Because you know what? You can be like um, comedic and fashionable at the same time. That would be a hoot. What if the fashion was funny? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You could be like my date. <laughs> I'm a cougar. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, how old are you, Michael? 17. Is that okay, Willie, or does he have to go up a year? <laughs> if you could make a, uh, your own award show, what would it be? It would be called the Chooties. The Chooties. <laughs> and what would be what would be what would, what would be celebrate? You would celebrating humility on set and <laughs> ah. and the the foibles and goofs and snafus that people do on set. <laughs> and the craziest ones would win a chuty. So, you know, what shows are you most rooting for this uh, Emmy season? Oh, Veep. Veep hands Veep? down. It's my favorite show on television. It's hilarious. I love anything she does. So on that note, you know, if you could guest star in any show, yeah. what would you pick? Would it be Veep? Oh, any show? Does any it have to show. be up for an award? Doesn't have to be up for an award. Ooh. Ooh, uh, I would say ballers. Ballers? Yeah, it's kind of in line with what I do for a living, bro yeah, sports be, broadcasting. Be appropriate. And, yeah, what? Awesome. Um, so, you know, we have the Oscars, we have the Tonys, and yeah. we have the Emmys. If you could create your own award show, what would it be? Ooh, it would be probably, uh, well, there's so many dance shows now on and dance movies. It would be the Dance Awards. The Dance Awards. Yeah. Is that what you call it, the Dance Awards? Uh, no, I would probably think of something a little more original, but uh, <laughs> for right now, yeah. You can brainstorm now. It's, it's a tentative uh, title, working title. Working title. I'll get under your hat to shield yeah, from the under rain. under my hat because it's raining. It's an umbrella, you know. Under my umbrella. It's a good choice, though, practical. It, yeah, it's perfect, you know. <laughs> well, if you could guess star in any show uh, currently running, what would you pick? If I would guest star on a show, definitely uh, Sons of Anarchy. I mean, that's my jam. Like, look at my jacket right here. You see this? Are you, are you a motorcycle person? You know what? In, in my other life, I guess I am, because I'm like, I'm, I'm attracted to like leather and studs and all studs, that, yeah. you know, like fast life, wildlife, but I'm really a nerd, so. If you could make your own award show, what would it be? Oh, great, great question. My own award show, I guess I would say something for up and coming artists, like a showcase. It's not like an American Idol situation, but like an award show, like recognizing either independent artists. Yeah, records, indie people. Yeah, exactly, something like that. Um, you know, once you make it, once you're on Billboard, once you're on the radio, there already is that level of notoriety. But if there's some award show for up and coming artists, you know, who are doing Indiegogo campaigns or who are just putting their stuff out on iTunes themselves, I think that could be a nice opportunity. For sure. Now, what would you call it? Great question. <laughs> I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> if you could make your own award show, what would it be? <laughs> the DC's now. Nah. <laughs> um, Honestly, I love the way how the stunt guys, the job they do. Mm. I would like a, I would, I know they're trying to get one going, but I would like to have a, have more support behind the stunt stunt awards. For sure. Well, now what would you call it? The stunt awards. <laughs> the stunt awards. <laughs> hey, right, what's up, y'all? This is Donovan W. Carter, and you're watching Teens Want to Know. Teens Want to Know. Teens Want to Know. This is Rachel McCord, and you're watching Teens Want to Know.